Hey guys, so today we are going to start off with the makeup. First thing I'm going to do is tie up my hair and get it out of the way. And before I apply any foundation, I'm going to apply my Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. And for sunscreen, I'm using the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 20. Now for eyelid primer, I'm using the e.l.f. primer in sheer. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a peachy color for my neutral eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. And for my same palette, I'm taking an orangey brown color and I'm placing it in my crease. And for my highlighter, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the color Nude Beige. I'm placing a white shimmery color in my inner corner also from the same BH Cosmetics palette. For the lower lash line, I'm placing some of the orangey brown color that we placed in our crease. To create a nice base for our eyeshadows, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in white. Taking the color of your choice, I am choosing this turquoise aqua color. You are going to run it on your lash line and on your outer corner you're going to start with the darker shade and you're going to work your way into the lightest shade. I didn't record a lot of how I do my eyebrows, but a how-to eyebrows will be coming soon. For my inner corner eyeliner, I'm using Wet n Wild's H2O Proof in Ultra Black because my inner tear duct area tends to get very watery. But for the rest of my eye, I'm using New York Color High Definition Liquid Eyeliner in the color Soft Black. For my mascara combo, the first one I'm using is Great Lash by Maybelline in the color Berry Black. My second mascara is Rimmel London's Lash Accelerator Endless in the color Black. My third mascara is Maybelline's The Colossal Volume Express Waterproof in the color Classic Black. For my last mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Waterproof Voluminous in Carbon Black. For primer on my face, I'm using Maybelline's Baby Skin. To create an even skin tone, I am using Hard Candy's Just Face It Foundation. And I set it with Rimmel's Stay Matte Press Powder in the color Sandstorm. For blush, I used ELF's Contouring Blush and Bronzer. And to help me stay matte all day, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. It's hair time! I'm going to add some volume to my hair by teasing a little bit. I'm going to create a braid on my right side. I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin the braid to the back of my head. Now let's add some waves. I'm taking random sections of hair and just curling them with my straightener. This is the finished look. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!
a blessing or a curse. Long live this world.